town I can think of is New London, Missouri. I'm on my way to Iowa. I'm about, oh, probably about 60 miles from Iowa state lines. So, turning around here, it's really cold off. It's been raining all night. We're going to travel, see where we can get. Well, this stop got chopped off my gas. So. I'm still in Missouri. I'm probably, oh, it looks like I'm about 10 miles from Iowa. The gas gets higher in Iowa, so I, I just pretty much had a full tank, but I went ahead and topped it off here in Missouri because the gas looks like it's about 40 cents cheaper. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start paying higher prices here in a little bit. Uh, everything's going good. It's a nice, cool, cloudy day. It's been raining the biggest part of the day, so that's helping with the travel, keep an old truck going and everything. It's not a whole lot to see. This is a farming community. So yeah, there's, there's a state historic site. Battle weapons. Anyway, yeah, it's just a farming community. It's pretty much all I've been seeing, so if I run across something cool, I'll stop and check it out. But we'll find me a place to camp for this afternoon. And uh, when I do, I'll get back with you. in Iowa. It's dark. Well, it ain't really dark. It's, it's a cold, gloomy, cloudy day. Um, I've come into a rest area. Mm, I think I'm going to stay here. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to stay here tonight. It's pretty late in the evening. It's 3 o'clock. I've been driving. I've, I've been putting some miles on today. I mean, not as much as some of y'all do, but for me, by my standards, I've put some miles on today. Uh, some friends got in contact with me this afternoon. And, uh, they're up in the area, or not where I'm at right now, but they're a little ways ahead of me. So we're going to, I'm going to try to get on up there and meet up with them. So my plans have changed, like always. Uh, it's nothing new. My plans constantly change, and y'all should know that by now. But the reason I'm going to stay at this rest area... It's because, one, it's a good place, you know, I can stay. Uh, you know, we won't get run off or the door knocked on. And the other reason is, right here where I'm parked, this is like RV parking. If you look way up there, I mean, way, 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 way up there in front of me. What's that guy doing? That is El Correcto. It's a free dump station here. Yeah, so that's the number one selling point reason I'm going to go ahead and stay here tonight. I've been looking for a, yes, I've been looking for campgrounds. I've, I've abandoned the Hotel Walmart thing. That's just, that wasn't planned out and uh, it just ain't, it's not really working for me. So I may do that again later, uh, try to plan it out more and not just take off and think, you know, you know, there's a Walmart in every town. You think it'd been really easy just to. Roll into town somewhere and, and pull into Walmart. Well, not so much this trip. The route that I'm taking, like I said, I'm kind of staying off interstates, running these little, I don't know what you call them, not really two lane highways. They're four lanes, but they're like 55 mile an hour and they run through towns. And I just want to, you know, take a little scenic route. And I know I've went by Walmarts, there's no doubt in that, but they're so far off. The road I was on, it ain't worth for me going, you know, getting off that exit and going 10 miles into town and coming back, you know. So we'll try that another time. But for tonight, this is going to be home. Uh, yep, but that's it. I think I'm going to end this video right here. I don't know how long it's gotten, but uh, say hello to all my friends and family and everybody, subscribers. Everything's going good. Uh, I'll get back on here probably tomorrow sometime but anyway until i see you then god bless you hey, i just want to get in here real quick and show y'all something uh, i'm sitting here trying to plan my next my route you know my next little leg i make i'm i'm using this app called rv parky 
you know, I use actually three or four apps. I kind of use them together uh, to come up with an ideal. I just want to show you the area I'm in. Yes, I'm in Cedar Rapids. I've been moving, moving on. But, I, you know, I said I was trying to do the Walmart thing. Um, you know, stay at only Walmarts. But here's Cedar Rapids. There's one, two, three Walmarts. That one says no overnight parking. Uh, that one says no overnight parking. Go over here to this one. And no overnight parking. I'm sure at one of them three, I could probably pull in there and maybe talk to the manager and, you know, get something worked out. But that's the trouble I'm, I'm, I'm running into. Uh, there for a while, there's this one stretch uh, all the way down. Let's well, see, like this one's way off the interstate. I came up and down this 218. There's absolutely no Walmarts. Now you got this one here. There's 218 and there's that Walmart. You think, oh, well, you just run over there. That's like 50 miles, 40 to 50 miles. So, you know, I'm not getting off. That's a hundred miles round trip just to stay. So I wasn't going to do that. But anyhow, uh, yeah, I just want to show you real quick the trouble I was having with my Walmarts. So. But find me a place to go for, I'm staying right here tonight at the rest area. Uh, I'm looking for, you know, something for tomorrow. If I find something pretty cool or whatever, I'll come back and show it to you. Well, I have developed another problem. This is one of the tires on my camper trailer. It's dark, so I'll do the best I can to show you. If you'll notice the tread right here is really good. And if you look right here, it's really not so good. Yeah, look how slick it is right there. Let me go inside, it's raining. So I, had to, I just want to show you that real quick. I had to jump back in because it's sprinkling up there. But uh, looks like I've developed another problem. So I guess this is just going to be one of the trips that uh, sometimes they go great and sometimes they don't go so great. <laughs> so I, I got this is a double axle trailer, you know, so I got four tires. I check them every time I stop. I do a walk around, and before I leave, say I stop to get gas or lay down for a bit. I, before I leave, I always walk around, and look at everything. And I was just getting ready to leave here. You know, I'm at that rest area. Did a little walk around. Seen that tire? That thing is wore completely out on one side. The bad thing is that wasn't like that when I left. So I've got an issue. Um, yeah, I got an issue, <laughs> which is not uncommon. A lot of a lot of these little travel trailers do that. Not particularly that one tire, but you always have one or sometimes two that this this the axle eats the tires off of it. Uh, a guy I watched on YouTube, Traveling Robert, a lot of y'all might know him. He's got a newer Winnebago trailer. He's got his fixed now, but his is doing the same thing. Actually, the same tire, which is eating them off. It's where that axle gets out of alignment. So evidently, uh, it just this is just something recent. So evidently, I've hit some potholes or or did something and got her out of whack. Uh, unfortunately, that's not something I'm able to do here on the side of the road as far as aligning that axle back up and fixing it. The only option I know for right now, that thing won't make it all the way there. There's no way it's going to make it to North Dakota. It won't even make it through the night, probably. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to stop somewhere. Usually I can get these little tires at Walmart. Sometimes i got to order them. Sometimes, you know, Walmart don't have them on the shelf, so i got to order them. I think I'm going to pick me one up, maybe two, uh, and uh, go ahead and change one and have a spare and just try to make it on up north. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer. I mean, this is just right off the bat. This trip ain't starting off good, but it you know it happens. I've been doing this a while, and you have good trips and you have bad trips. So, unfortunately, this is just going to be one of the bad trips. But we'll get through it. And, um, do what we do best, you know. Scratch your heads and figure it out. But I think I'm winning this video right here. This is the end of another day, and. Uh, 
we'll pick it back up tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try to do some driving tonight. I probably won't get very far. Uh, the reason I'm driving at night is because it's cooler, it's easier on the truck, easier on the tires. and Yeah, I probably don't get very far. I'm going to be stopping quite often to check that tire. And probably, uh, most I've checked most of Walmarts around here in the general area. They all say no overnight parking, no overnight parking. But I'm probably going to get past Cedar Rapids and find the first one I come to and just pull in and the same thing I'll tell them my situation and try to get me a tire uh, get on down the road I guess but anyway I want to say hello to all my friends subscribers my family uh, hope you all are doing okay and until uh, I see you next time all right, was there something else again no, no I'll get you next time until I see you next time God bless you